So once you've created your property, you now need to add compartments. To add a compartment, I need to click on the plus add compartment. Complete this form by providing details for my compartment. So 1A. You'll notice that you don't need to provide us with a total hectoridge. That'll be done automatically once I've drawn the polygon. My woodland is called Manor Wood and I have an SSSI and a power line. I click save. You'll notice at the top there's a green banner. That's telling me that compartment one has been created. So what I need to do now is locate my property. I do this by clicking on the zoom to coordinates function. So I've got an option here to put in a grid reference or a place name or coordinates. Once I've located my property, I can start to draw my polygon. To do that, I need to click on this icon at the top, which is called Draw a Polygon. You'll notice that my cursor has now got a green dot underneath. This is called a node, and this needs to be placed where you want to start drawing your polygon. So for instance, I'm going to start here. So all I need to do is to click the left button on my mouse, and that will start my first point of my compartment. I then just need to keep clicking my left cursor as I go round the boundary of my compartment, creating my compartment 1A. Once you've finished, you just need to click your left button again, and it will save. You'll see that there's a call out which provides us with the hectare of the polygon I've just drawn. Here, here you'll see it says 0.38 hectares. So if you're happy with your with your uh, polygon, then click save. If you're not happy with it and it just needs a slight tweak, then you can use this icon, which is Edit Features. If you click on that one, you'll notice that the compartment turns blue and then you can use your cursor with its node and manipulate the compartment boundary just by clicking the left button and holding it down while you move your cursor. So once you're happy that your compartment has been amended correctly, click Save. So now you'll see that it's returned us back to the property page and Manor Hall now has a new compartment, 1A, and you can see that compartment on the map. Just to show you that the um, area has been updated, we can click on the pencil button, which would edit the details for 1A, and the area has been updated. There are options to import a shape file or a CSV file. But now we've created our compartment, we can apply for a felling license. 